Legion Tactical Cutler. Hold the line! Hey everyone, how you guys doing? Krugs here, Legion Tactical Cutlery. Welcome back, Troops Legionnaires, new recruits. And as always, appreciate you all taking the time to check out my channel and my video. All right, in front of you, you see the Cobalt Camp Axe. I never knew this existed until I went into Lowe's, saw this wonderful looking axe, checked out the bit, and I said, I got to have this one. Troops, what are you carrying today? What's your EDC? Well, today out in the woods, I am carrying my Demko Free Rain, a perfect combination with this axe. Let me know what you all have. Veterans Active Military, I just want to say thank you very much for your service. We really appreciate you guys and gals. Let's go over these quick specs. I am burning daylight out here. All right, again, this is the Cobalt 14 inch camp axe with an overall length of 14 inch, bit length of 5.75 forged steel. I do not have the steel type, unfortunately. So if anybody knows, let me know. The bit width is two inch. The cutting edge is 3.25 inch. Uh, the bit weight is 1.25 pounds. Grippable handle length is 11.5 inch. Handle is made out of hickory. The total weight of this ax is 1.75 pounds, so not too bad. And it does come with a lifetime warranty from Lowe's. And guess what? $20 for this awesome ax. I took a look at it. I checked out the bit. It was the sharpest ax on the shelf. So it looks so good. I said for 20 bucks, how can I go wrong? Let's do a close up. One of the things I liked about this ax was the bit. I saw that tapering and I'm like, this is gonna be a real good chopper. So I took a chance at it. It needed a little bit of sharpening, not much, but as you can see, that's the ax head right there. All right, little hammer area. Okay, hickory handle. I know a lot of people aren't gonna like the blue or the cobalt on there. And a lot of people have sanded that stuff off. Me, I'm gonna use it. I don't really give a shit, you know, but all in all, I think this will be a great companion. And it's not too uh, heavy either. It's nice and light. It's uh, one three quarter pounds. And the only thing that I wish it had was obviously a better sheath, but it does have this edge cover over here. It's rubber, no big deal, still effective. Now I wanna get the chopper. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna chop up. So here we go. I found this log, it was out on the floor, on the ground. So I figure, you know, I'm in a campground. Anything on the floor goes, according to the groundskeepers over here. I'm gonna chop this up so I could do future knife reviews using this log. Unfortunately, I'm in a county park, so I can't go around chopping down trees. Again, I did find this on the floor. I'm just gonna tackle it. Uh, it's not the most solid log. However, you know, if you're in a campsite, and this is what's available. Well, you gotta process it, so let's start, okay? All right, well, I'll tell you right now, very slick, the handle. Um, I know some people have modified it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off, I'm gonna take off my glove so I get a better grip and just continue. But so far, as you can see, it's biting in. And chunks are flying all over the place. So without the gloves, the grip feels good. You know, I got that little bird's beakish type area so it doesn't uh, slip off. One thing I notice, it's not bouncing off every time I hit the wood, but it's still early. We'll keep on going. We'll just get rid of some of this bark over here. So far, so good.
Now, unfortunately, I can't change the angle over here because of such an awkward piece. So I'm gonna do my best and keep on going. As you can still see, it's uh, still pretty good. Biting in. Let me reposition this real quick. So the bit is, you know, what I really appreciate about this ax. Really doing well, I think. All right, that was uh, pretty good. Check it out, a real solid piece right there. Nothing rotted or uh, soft, but pretty solid on the inside. I think the ax made some quick work of this. I'm gonna chop up another small piece and then we will process it. One more time. I just had to reposition the camera a little bit. Let's get to it. Now keep in mind, I'm not gonna fell a tree with this. This is for a camp, you know? And I think that this is a perfect example of using an ax or maybe, you know, taking it out on a hike or in the woods somewhere, but you know, perfect size. Definitely making quick work out of this, in my opinion. But, uh, you know, I'm not really an axe expert. I just know how to use it and know how to use it, you know? And, uh, and you guys and gals, let me know what you think so far. Just repositioning a bit. We are almost through with this piece and then this piece I will process. All right, there we go. Hold on a second. Check it out. Okay, not bad. All right, real quick, taking off the bark. 
Okay, making a, some curls. Still, still pretty sharp in my book. I mean, it's kind of, it's not bouncing. The axe uh, bit still is on there pretty solid. I think, uh, I think we're looking good, man, so far. Yeah, let's keep going. Got my baton. Let's, uh, you know what? Let me just get that in there first and let's see. Split. Okay, nice, safe, you know, no danger. There we go. That's uh, real good, real good. Let's keep going. Just put this aside. Oh, nice. The split. Without even having a baton. That's great. All right, cool. Let's uh, do the other one. Why not? Let's see if it'll split. Yes, that's uh, that's awesome. Not being very experienced with an ax, this uh, kind of surprises me a bit. Oops. All right, cool. Let's see. Actually, let me take off my glove because it's slipping. Okay. It's rough, but it made the point. Let me choke up a little bit closer. Yeah, I mean, it did it, you know? It's a nice point right there if you needed to make a spear. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Uh, let's see what else I could do with this. Okay, I have a little different species of wood over here. Uh, let's, I don't know, let's give this a go, I guess. Let me uh, see if I can take off this piece right here. I mean, it's still making some decent bites, you know? I mean, still pretty sharp I, I think it's doing a good job well let's keep going all right that was a nice uh, nice hard hit let's try this
turn that over. All right, cool, man. I mean, so far so good. Uh, uh, let me uh, pick up that other piece. I want to do a chop. This is a nice knotted piece right over here. I'm going to chop, try and chop through the center and see if, uh, if it'll do it. Yeah, it worked. That's good. You know what I'm going to try? I'm going to try that real hard wood that I tested out the F and Grow 142 with. Give me a second. All right, if you go check out my channel, look up F and Grow EF 142 and you'll see how much of a pain in the ass this crazy piece of wood was. So let me, let me see now. The ax head is doing real well. It's not as sharp as it was. Uh, however, let's see if I can get through this uh, piece of wood. Now, I'm just gonna take my time. I don't wanna get hurt, so. All right, good. Well, that, that piece went flying somewhere, so. Let's try it this way now, something safe. See that nice little bulge over here? Wow, look at that. This is one tough piece of wood, man. I'm surprised this piece even came off. Let's keep going until I could split this. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, I mean, tough piece, right? One good thing is that I don't see any nicks or rolls on the edge, so I understand it's an ax, but even axes have its limitations. Let's see. That was a complete miss. Okay, you can see it's making some progress, but I want to split this thing. I'm destroying it more than I am trying to split it, but again, I'm testing out this ax, so. All right, got a piece, just flew off. Kind of happy with that. Let's see. Let's see if I do it this way. All right, that's a nice deep bite. Another deep bite. I don't know what this is, but it's one tough piece of wood, man. All right. Still nothing. Let's see if I just uh, hammer it a little bit. Oh, <laughs> It didn't even split it. It just bounced. Okay, look at that. I don't know what this is, man. This is incredible. I don't even think it's from this world. Look at that. Let's do it this way so you can see the whole thing. It just bounces. Just remember the F and Grow chopped through this, okay? The F and Grow chopped it this way. Finally, there you go.
finally, man, I chopped through this. Unbelievable. But, you know, this steel it looks good, man. The edge is, it's not as sharp as I want it to be. But it's not damaged in any way. And this is some hard stuff, man. All right, I got another species of wood over here. This one's real soft. But no matter if you're going to throw it in the fire, who cares how soft it is as long as the axe can chop it up. It's good. All right, cool. Uh, not as efficient. However, it's still, you know, still look still making some work of this wood okay not bad let me get something a little bit harder okay I was using this before all right bark I do notice I have to dig in a little bit more I'm not making curls as easy as I was. But check it out. Kind of have to dig in a little bit more. But then, you know, you take out your, your knife, right? Because you definitely want to use a companion here and the knife takes over at this point however your axe has made short work of what some of you don't think a knife can do or should do so you know the axe did its purpose and for 20 bucks I, st I still think that this is a good deal All right, not the greatest, still doing it. Let's move on. Okay, another example, I wanna make a, you know, feather stick, so, uh, whoops. Not as efficient as a knife, but I don't know how many people would uh, baton there, you know, out there. Since I'm always thinking safety in mind, you know, and I, fortunately I have these, these stumps here to test, you know, why not? So let's see if I could do some vertical. Bit of a challenge in itself, but once you get it split. All right, let's do it again. So you could start with the, you know, with batoning. A small piece. And then just tap it down. And here you go. You got, again, you got your feather sticks here. Unfortunately, I have to tell you, you're going to need some form of sharpening stone or your favorite sharpening tool out in the field because this definitely got dull if you wanted to start doing the final work. You know, like I'm digging in right now to get these curls. 
But like I showed you in the last uh, the last clip, you know, you take out your knife and then you make the curls, all right? But even still, after all that abuse and that pounding, you know, it's it's doing what I'm I want it to do, just not as easy. Twenty bucks though, man. I don't know if you can go wrong, you know. Okay, I started doing this off camera. I just want to show you. I haven't sharpened it. It is taking a little bit of work. They're not very fine. You know, once you get that 90 degree, you know, you could do it again. It definitely needs sharpening, but for 20 bucks, man, not bad, not bad. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna conclude. I am pretty happy for 20 bucks. Again, you gotta have a sharpening tool, and I think you'd be okay with this in a, you know, in a camp environment. Okay, final thoughts for $20 and a lifetime warranty. I don't think you can go wrong with this. It's not as sharp as when I first started. It still did the job, okay? And one thing that I didn't show everybody is, now I made this tent stake with my knife and obviously it's got that hammer, which is a good thing, right? And you could tap that in, you know, into the ground. So that's an option that, uh, you know, is, is good with this ax. Let me know what you guys think, man. If you like this content, man, like, share, and subscribe. I want to bring awareness to everybody. Hashtag 22 a day, hashtag 22 a day or more. There are veterans in active military out there that wants to get out of the service. They do face a lot of challenges. Unfortunately, one of these challenges is suicide. So at the end of this video, pause on the slides and seek the help you all have earned and deserved. Once again, let me know what you think about this ax. Me personally, for 20 bucks, lifetime warranty, can't go wrong. All right, Troops, Legionnaires, new recruits, at the ready. Hold on, take care. Legionnaires! Legionnaires!